Morning people, welcome back to F Politics. This is awkward, because uh, I don't like bashing the BBC. I wish I didn't have to. But yesterday, I was in London filming tomorrow's video about what's about to happen with BBC Question Time, and as I'm on the way home to Birmingham on the train, I see this. The BBC apologising for calling the Reform Party far right. Now I've already discussed quite recently all the reasons why it's entirely legitimate to call the Reform Party far right. For example, the fact that it was set up by Catherine Blakelock, who had to resign because of Islamophobic comments. The fact that its most prominent politician is Nigel Farage, the former head of the racist UKIP party, the guy who used Middle Eastern people to scare people about European migration over Brexit. The fact that its current leader, Richard Tice, also set up Leave.eu, which regularly used anti-Semitic imagery in its propaganda. The fact that they don't even hide the fact that they're far right because their logo is a goddamn arrow pointing to the right. But it's actually gotten worse than that in the few weeks since I posted that video, because now now, they're taking politicians from the Conservative Party who were too racist for the Tories. Because Lee Anderson, the former deputy chair of the Conservative Party, accused Sadiq Khan, the London mayor, of being controlled by Islamists. And as we've all known since about 2001, accusing ordinary Muslim people of being extremists is the most common form of Islamophobia. Now, the Conservative Party already has serious problems with Islamophobia. Like, half of their members consider Islam to be a threat to the UK. And Lee Anderson's views were considered too extreme for them, but apparently not for the Reform Party. Party. And how do Oxford and Collins dictionaries define far right as being on the extreme end of the right wing faction? Now, yes, of course, extreme is a relative term. It's subjective, but that's a key point because I did a video a few months ago about how there's no such thing as being moderate in politics because politics isn't about how you see yourself, it's about how you see the world. If you think the society around you has a problem with equality and that things need to be shared more equally, you're on the left, by definition. But if society then becomes more fair and becomes more equal than you're comfortable with, then you become on the right by definition because that's the direction that you want to go. So, for example, if you don't think it's extreme for a party's only elected politician to accuse a Muslim mayor of being an Islamist, that says a lot about where you are on the political spectrum. So for the BBC to say that they wrongly called the Reform Party far right says a lot about them. And this is how the Overton window shifts, because the mainstream news channels refuse to call far right parties what they actually are. And what's even more scary is the reason why they're doing this, because the leader of the Reform Party, Richard Tice, has said they're doing this because his lawyers went after them. Which, on a personal note, I find utterly disgusting, because when Richard Tice sent his lawyers after me because I called out the anti-Jewish propaganda of the organization that he set up, I told him to go screw himself. When he tried to force me to apologize and pay up, I put out a video explaining exactly why the tropes of the organization that he set up were anti-Semitic. I pointed out how his mate, Nigel Farage, constantly spreading conspiracy theories about how George Soros, the Jewish Holocaust survivor, was controlling all progressive politics, was also anti-Semitic. At the time, I was a 29-year-old with 2,000 pounds in the bank, Richard Tice was a millionaire with an army of London lawyers, and I still told him to shove it. Meanwhile, the BBC, a public broadcaster that's supposed to serve us, funded to the tune of millions by the TV license subscriptions that we pay, is groveling on its knees to this far-right bully. Like I said, disgusting. And even at the time, politicians like Claire Fox, who was in the Reform Party at the time it was called the Brexit Party, and right-wing tabloids like Spite, came out on my side saying, Richard Tice, what are you doing? You're supposed to be the champions of free speech. Yet he was using his army of London lawyers to try and intimidate a 29-year-old activist into silence by threatening to wipe him out financially. And now, Nigel Farage and his millionaire mates like Richard Tice can use their lawyers to bully public broadcasters by deciding what they can and cannot say. If you're not concerned by this, please wake up. I'm Femi. Make sure you follow F Politics so politics doesn't F you. Have a great week.